two displays on a laptop or one continuous screen that scrolls from here to here. Asus is calling this the laptop of tomorrow, but it's also one you can go out and buy today. Hi, I'm Michael Josh and you're watching Gadget Match. We're here in Taipei, Taiwan for Computex 2019, known as the premier PC show in Asia. This year, a lot of interesting laptops were announced, but nothing as interesting as this one, a dual display laptop from Asus. This is our Asus ZenBook Pro Duo unboxing and hands-on. If this box doesn't look familiar, then you haven't seen our other video. You need to click up here and watch that one first. All right, let's dive straight in. Inside this box is the ZenBook Pro Duo. Just flip open this lid all the way for the grand reveal. In true ASUS tradition, you'll find the company's signature design element, concentric circles, etched into the aluminum chassis. So what else is inside the box? Lol, nothing in this packet apparently, but that should change when retail units ship. Underneath, ah, it ships with the ASUS pen. And over here, a palm rest. Great. The ZenBook Pro Duo comes in celestial blue. It has an aluminum frame with diamond cut chamfers meant to give it a premium feel. On the right hand side, there's a Thunderbolt USB-C port, an audio jack, and a USB-A port. On the flip side, power in, full-sized HDMI, and a second USB-A port. Okay, it's time. Let's open it up and see what the hype is all about. Notice this whole area under the display is all glass and the keyboard is flush to the front of the laptop, that part closest to you. The trackpad is flush to the rightmost side beside the keyboard. To fully appreciate it, we must power it on. Immediately, you're greeted by the ZenBook Pro Duo's 15-inch screen, one of the first in the market with a 4K OLED display. It's rich and vibrant, better than we've ever seen on a laptop before. Like many recent ZenBooks, the Pro Duo has slim bezels too. All right, when you log on, that's where it gets more exciting. Watch this glass bit over here. Ta-da! It's Display 2, and they're calling it the ScreenPad Plus. A larger version of the ScreenPad found on the original ZenBook Pro and on newer ZenBooks and VivoBooks coming real soon. This secondary display measures 14.1 inches and is a 4K touch panel. If you look closely, it has a matte coating instead of the glossy main display. The folks from Asus say this coating is meant to avoid glare from lights on the ceiling. Great, but do we really need a second display and what can it really do? Asus says this laptop was designed for increased productivity and was made with multitasking in mind. Basically, the display over here functions just like a secondary monitor would. The cursor can move from one screen to the next, and you can drag windows from here to here, and vice versa. When you drag a window or app from the main display to the secondary one, you'll see these three floating bars appear. Think of them as guides. If you want to snap the window to either the left, middle, or the side of the screen pad, that way you can have three evenly sized windows on display if you have to. It also works with the built-in snap to the side split screen function on Windows. I personally like to have Slack, WhatsApp, and Spotify open on my secondary display. That helps me keep track of my messages and music while I work on my primary display. And my hands never have to leave the keyboard and I don't have to pick up my phone to deal with other distractions. Now, if there's a setup you think you use a lot, you can save the layout of apps and windows. Just tap on this arrow over here, hit this icon, these three dots, and finally this capture button to save this task group. That way, the next time you need to get to work, just hit this button and the task group number and everything is launched and organized into windows on both displays just as you had intended them to. This too would be helpful if you were looking at images, the folders with thumbnails could be down here, and you could preview on the main display. Or maybe you were surfing the web but want to keep your Gmail account and your calendar open, you could display them down here below as well. Now, that's how I would use it. Asus says it also has envisioned other scenarios. For example, if you were a video editor, you could have your timeline on the secondary display. If you were a graphic artist, Photoshop tools could go down here. Asus also sees this as a handy tool for gamers and live streamers. Imagine your game here on the main display, Discord and Twitch on the secondary display. Of course, while these are obviously two different displays, they can also combine and work as one seamless display. 
For example, let's visit GadgetMesh.com. See, not much can fit into the main screen. All you have to do is just click and hold on the window. Now, see these three translucent buttons pop out? Drag the window to this one and boom, you have one continuous display, almost like you had a foldable, flexible panel installed. Right now, while insanely cool, I can't think of any other practical uses for this ViewMax feature, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. Here in Taipei, I worked on this video with my buddy David Kogan, the Unlocker, and if you want to see every single feature of this new laptop, particularly this secondary display, you should definitely click up here to watch his video. I'll also put a link down below. This over here is the trackpad, not in your usual location, and that can take some getting used to, but you can tap and hold on this icon and it lights up, becoming a numpad. There's also Cortana and Alexa support built in and a hidden indicator light, so when when you want to talk to Alexa, it glows blue down below, just as if it were a standalone device. As you can see, based on its size, the ZenBook Pro Duo is larger than your average laptop, but it's backed up by lots of power. So is the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo your gadget match. Let me start by saying this. When Asus set out to build this laptop, they had multitaskers in mind and seeing the final product, I think they've succeeded. In the few days I spent with it, I got so used to having a secondary display for all my other windows, it's game changing. The ZenBook Pro Duo balances size, performance, and features really well, and I can see this as a great device for content creators first and foremost. But whether or not it is a device that you should go out and buy really will boil down to how much it will cost. At the time of shooting this video, Asus has yet to tell us how much it will actually cost. But David and I have been talking and speculating. We believe that 4,000 will be acceptable, 3,500 would be great, and 3,000 would be a steal. I came into this video thinking that maybe the secondary display might be a gimmick, but the more and more that I use it, I've actually really liked it. And that was our Asus ZenBook Pro Duo unboxing and hands-on. For more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time we post a new video. Follow us on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff from Computex 2019. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.